You know what's fascinating about the book is you start out by saying straight up that you weren't the most talented person in your town, or you weren't the celebrated kid in the high school getting the leads and plays. I was not. You were, <laughs> I mean, so here you are in the middle of the country, not getting the lead roles and plays. And at one point, I assume you go to your parents, you go, I'm going to be an actor and I'm going to move to Los Angeles. Yeah. There's literally no indication from the outside no. world that this is going to work out. I was certainly like, it was all I talked about from about the time I was a freshman in high school. And I begged them to let me move to Los Angeles what after were you high basing school. That on? Literally nothing. I don't know. It was just like all I ever wanted to do. You know, my mom always said she felt a calling to be a teacher. And that was very important to her because she felt like by following that calling, she was very happy in life. Right. So she would say, do you feel a calling? to be an actor, and I'd be like, I guess that's what it is. It's a calling, sure, I'd have guessed. Now what's you your know? dad doing at this point? Is he, is he like <laughs> my half dad, reading the newspaper and My listening? dad is like, you can do whatever you want, but I'm not paying for it. You know, like there's, <laughs> don't ask me for a loan, you know, and of course I ask for a million loans. You know, yeah. like boop, 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 dad, my car engine blew up, can I borrow $800? And, but um, I had a big realization about two years in, and I didn't put this in the book, but, so when I moved here, I was dating someone. And um, right before we moved here, he like, he put a ring on the finger, right? Like we're gonna, oh, really? yeah. So he was still back in school in St. Louis. He had some time to finish up a graduate degree. And, um, and his dream was to move back home to his hometown of Detroit and start a business there with his degree. So what we agreed to before I left was like, okay, we're in love, we love each other, but I have to go do this. and. In two years, when you graduate, if I haven't made it, I'll move to your hometown with you, you can start your business, and I'll like do some local community theater and be a mom, which was something else I always wanted to do, was be married and have a kid, you know, and be a mother. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it'll be great. Because it was an easy deal to make, because I was very two certain years. that like <laughs> in two years, I mean, come on, like six months, I'm gonna be hitting it big, so we're gonna have no problem. And he was like, yeah, and if in that same two years, you become successful, I'll move to LA and we'll have our life there. So two years comes along and nothing. There's literally no indication that this is gonna work out. And he's like, so, Oh, so he followed I've through. Yeah, he's oh, in we, we stayed together, and he's oh, like, wow. I'm, I've, I'm graduating. What do you say? And I said, I'm not leaving. And he's like, I'm not coming. And I was like, it, it was very cordial. And it was like, and in that moment, I knew, like, I'm never going to stop doing this.